Hi, this is Diana from DivineFractal.com, and today I want to talk to you about Desiderata and my grandma's fridge. So when I was a little kid and I used to go visit my grandma, and I would be eating at the table, and I would look at all of the things she had on her fridge, and one of the things she had posted up there was this beautiful poem entitled Desiderata. And I loved reading it, and I always thought it had such amazing, sage advice. And at the bottom, it said, founded in Old St. Paul's Church, dated 1692. And I always thought that was so incredible. Wow, I'm reading this poem from 1692, and the advice is still so valuable. So years later, I did some research, and I found out it was actually written in 1927, by a man named Max Ehrman from Terre Haute, Indiana. And uh, I wondered, well, how did that happen that people thought that this poem was written in 1692, but actually was written in 1927? So what happened was there was a reverend that worked in a church from 1956 to 1961. And during that time, he used to keep a copy of Desiderata in a booklet he gave to his parishioners. And on the cover of the booklet, it had the church's name and the year that the church was founded. So it said, Old St. Paul's Church, Baltimore, 1692. And over time, people thought that Desiderata was actually written in 1692. So that doesn't stop the poem from being incredible. And in fact, even the name Desiderata is beautiful. The word itself means things that are desired. So let's read this poem. Desiderata. Go placidly amidst the noise and haste, and remember what peace there may be in silence. As far as possible, without surrender, be on good terms with all persons. Speak your truth quietly and clearly, and listen to others, even the dull and the ignorant. They too have their story. Avoid loud and aggressive persons. They are vexations to the spirit. If you compare yourself with others, you may become vain or bitter, for always there will be greater and lesser persons than yourself. Enjoy your achievements as well as your plans. Keep interested in your own career, however humble. It is a real possession in the changing fortunes of time. Exercise caution in your business affairs, for the world is full of trickery. But let this not blind you to what virtue there is. Many persons strive for high ideals, and everywhere life is full of heroism. Be yourself. Especially do not feign affection. Neither be cynical about love, for in the face of all aridity and disenchantment, it is as perennial as the grass. Take kindly the counsel of years, gracefully surrendering the things of youth. Nurture strength of spirit to shield you in sudden misfortune. But do not distress yourself with dark imaginings. Many fears are born of fatigue and loneliness. Beyond a wholesome discipline, be gentle with yourself. You are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and the stars, and you have a right to be here. And whether or not it is clear to you, no doubt the universe is unfolding as it should be. Therefore, be at peace with God, whatever you conceive him to be, and whatever your labors and aspirations, in the noisy confusion of life, keep peace with your soul. With all its sham and drudgery and broken dreams, it is still a beautiful world. Be cheerful. Strive to be happy. So do you have any memories of the Desiderata poem yourself? Which part speaks to your heart? This is Diana from DivineFractal.com. And until next time, remember, be fearless, fill your heart with love, and create art. Love you guys.